Dr. Green, this is an emergency update warning. This is a special alert. Uh, residents of California, just like we predicted last week, 2 million were without power intentionally as a result of the PG&E shutdown. And as millions of people reported, there wasn't even any wind. And there was speculation that the fires might, in fact, have been started by PG&E themselves. Follow that by this week, 500,000 people in both Northern California. Notice all the power is on for the elites, all the billionaires, all the major cities. Everything is fine in San Francisco. And this is affecting not just NorCal, but Southern California. Now, breaking live, October 26, 2019, PG&E will cut power to up to 1 million Americans in California. This is the most serious blackout and alleged weather event we have seen in history uh, and in recent memory. Now, of course, we've been warning at AMTV for several weeks now. Get out of count. Watching this from the bottom of the Pacific, half a world away, and I'm just trying to make sense of it. And I must admit, it's really, really hard. I mean, I've just looked up PG&E outages, strong winds now. You'd think uh, that would show something up, but look at this. Uh, two weeks ago, 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 two weeks ago. So uh, obviously there's, uh, there's nothing happening. So let's just have a look at, um, at uh, Twitter. And I've changed over my... VPN to uh, the United States to see what's twit, uh, trending in the United States. Uh, Catalan independence activists demand release of separatist leaders. John Kelly, Saturday Thoughts, Speak Yourself Tour Final. John Cook, Auburn, What's Happening, Kamala Harris. Uh, in the streets of Iraq, Mayor Pete, blah. Oh, here we are! Oh, wow! Oh, finally, we've got it. Oh. So, we're, oh, three, hey, right down the list. So, here we are. Here goes, um, uh, uh, some of the news. So, uh, yeah, you have to go looking for it, don't you? Where does that, uh, come from? Um, so I just had a look at a few other things on Earth Null School. Okay, so here goes a, um, a forecast for today, uh, of wind in various counties, and it's saying 5.8 miles per hour, 6.9 miles per hour. 9.2 so that's not hardly your 80 or 90 so uh it's it's all of it it nothing really makes uh really makes sense and uh well we know what wind is like down under and if you go on any day of the year you'll find winds in the pacific ocean and the tasman sea like this so this is going back to um February when we had the uh, the major fires in um, in the South Island near Nelson the Teapot Valley fire and stuff and this just shows on the day uh, kind of what uh, what winds were being kind of registered by um, um, by Knoll School. My concerns about uh, Earth Knoll School, and I gave a few examples as I have here. And of course, you uh, always get people coming in. Uh, my method is to kind of put my views out there and just see what people come up with and uh, whether it makes any sense. So, this was two responses that I got. Um, in fact, this first person was so determined that he sent me a private message on F Facebook. He just didn't even trust it to to the uh, to the comments. So he says the wind speeds on uh, Null School are the results of models run on supercomputers. These models 
are only stimulating the granularity of cell sizes in that model, whatever that fucking means. It's highly unlikely they would simulate local fires. Well, what I would expect is that it would, uh, we're talking about the whole of California, we're not just talking about a small area, um, and presumably these are the conditions over much of that uh, thing, otherwise they wouldn't be doing such widespread um, shutdowns. Uh, so you'd expect some sort of uh, reflection in Knoll School of the conditions, but uh, you know, when it shows uh, wind sizes of uh, uh, speeds of five miles an hour, uh, obviously it's not. Uh, and then he goes on to say, fires cause heat and convective flow in increasing wind speeds. These speeds are affected by the landscape, the pitch and surface uh, features. This level of complexity is unlikely to be ever included uh, in the in, in the models. Well, actually, I wasn't really referring specifically to uh, uh, to the fires. I was talking uh, uh, generally about not being able to get a reflection and if null school of uh, the reported reality. Um, and of course, I totally get it that uh, you know the wind goes over um, you know along valleys and comes up against uh, hills and things and of course the wind surfaces. So does that uh, really uh, um, account for a difference between say five miles an hour on on um, on Null School and uh, a reported forecast of 80 to 19 uh, miles per hour uh, even if those are um, up gusts, you would expect the uh, the constant wind to be a little bit more than five miles per hour. Although, I mean, that would be really strange to have sort of five mile an hour, in other words, no wind at all, and then have these sudden um, uh, gusts of 80 to 90 uh, miles per hour. Now, that really would be uh, uh, strange. So he goes on to say, the models are simulating the weather based on data and so being recalibrated in time periods. Well, that's absolutely bloody meaningless. Wind speed also varies greatly with altitude. Well, one would expect that actually what they're um, uh, they're giving in Null School is the uh, the wind speed at um, at surface level, and not bloody five hundred megahertz. But I mean, that would be useless to anyone. The data appears to be synthetic, but calibrated to observations. That sort of like someone using uh, language that they know that nobody will be able to understand so they can get their points across. Uh, and then there's someone else who says, uh, the simple matter of the fact is the general flow of the wind is not the high winds that flow over the surface. Winds off of cliffs and down slopes of mountains and through valleys are always gusting higher than the general flow. It is up to us to know where the winds are generally concentrated. Really? Well, what the bloody hell is Earth Knoll School for then? Uh, I realise that, uh, you know, you, you, you can't um, uh, get all the details from a, from a computerised model, but there's got to be some sort of correlation, some sort of reflection between uh, the reported reality um, and what we're getting on Knoll School or any other program, uh, Windy or, and uh, uh, so of course it's it's not there, it's, it, it's not showing the winds. Um, and then he goes on to say seven days out of ten in southern Mexico there's a concentration flow uh, passes through from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean. It runs north to south, and you can usually see it on the charts. This is one of the cases where Earth Knoll School has document, documented a specific high wind trend. Well, well done, Knoll School. And I sit in the in the, in the South uh, Seas uh, in New Zealand, where we're constantly surrounded by wind, and um, for some strange reason, um, Earth Knoll School 
does seem to uh, reflect that. I mean, perhaps it does, just reflects the wind out at sea and it doesn't even measure um, uh, the wind on land, although that's not what I'm seeing when I look. Anyway, uh, none of this makes sense. And I have to say, uh, just uh, for a bit of clarity, that I am a Luddite. Um, I, I, I love, for instance, the, um, the traditional sphygmometer, the traditional way uh, of measuring blood pressure, um, which has been used for countless since whenever, and they've replaced them by these electronic um, gadgets for uh, measuring um, blood pressure, well, I'd have to see some evidence that these are um, these are properly calibrated and accurate. I don't believe it. Uh, if the last couple of um, if the last couple of uh, electronic thermometers uh, that we've bought um, uh, are any indication, then there are there are a pack of Nonsense! We had to take one back because because it was so ridiculous. And they said, "Oh, it hasn't been properly calibrated, so we'll give you another one." So I don't see really. I don't really trust a lot of the modern uh, technology. I have to say. So that's my little clarification on this. <laughs>